properly. <laughs> my guys, thing, please. my guys, my right. guys scared of us. There's more corpses. <laughs> I could just see you like like a balloon behind you. Like, just walking my guys like 40 corpses. My guys scared about his Okay, nose. fine. Yeah. So, so and then, the water. It's so fine. you found. I don't know if you guys are doing party treasure. How you want to keep track of things? I'm, I'm not. Good. I'm, I'm not writing it down. Track. I'll okay. divide it up later. 50, 50 gold in a yep. in a belt pouch. Yep. Um. So it, it doesn't look like the body had been touched or looted since it whatever happened here. You do inspect it for wounds or anything. No clear, like no sword through the heart or obvious strangulation or anything. It okay. doesn't seem to be any kind of guy, maybe drowning would be a good guess. My guy asks the orb, like, did you ever see this one? No, I've never been in this tunnel. My guy's gonna do a perception check. Okay. Perception. Oh, yeah, do you need to know our passive passive wisdoms for anything? Or how like, we? I'm assuming that 15 is about average. Yeah, for us. Does yeah, anyone have, yeah. Does anyone have uh, anything higher than 15? No. I have a nine. Okay, so. yeah, yeah. A what? Oh, right, your charisma, right? 15, 15 is what I have. Wait, yeah, I was gonna say I have passive charisma. Uh, Which I, have, I, I have a minus one to wisdom, and I'm not, right not, and I'm not proficient. Uh, yeah. Not proficient. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. I am proficient in insight, which gives me a plus one. Okay. <laughs> That's basically what I did for my paladin. 17. Like, I'm not 17. Uh, so the orb does not appear to be lying to you, Cody. In fact, you don't think two. the orb would ever lie to you. The so, orb is a powerful force of good, and it would never, ever lie to you. Cool. Okay, well, All right, so uh, you guys want to go right, or you want to go straight? Uh, Left. Left? Okay. Uh, you <laughs> head what? down. Back to the alcove. Right or straight Right or straight left. And it... Spirals in like this. Okay. Yeah. Unusual, unusual, unusual shape. I'll be right. So, charge, by the way. so oh, everything else you've oh, seen. Yeah. I'm gonna leave. Oh yeah, party order. Let's get a party order. That's a good uh, idea. Uh, I'll we be. Just, we can just have yeah. one. Uh, you are a sorcerer. You are a. This is you, Cody. You're an artificer. Yeah. And I'm a cleric. This is a fighter. My guys, the barbarian, are, my the guys barbarian. Are barbarian, barbarian fighter. The barbarian obviously goes first. This is barbarian. Yeah, yeah. that's a barbarian. That's Who's barbarian. This, oh, this is you. That's my this cleric. Is cleric. Yeah. cleric in the back. This yeah. is a fighter, so. Yeah. Keep it I got those two mixed up. So, warlock or sorcerer, yeah. warlock, sorcerer, sorcerer, uh, artificer, artificer, fighter. fighter. Barbarian Claire. Okay. Happy? Everybody happy? Yep. So yeah, everything else you've seen, you know, your dwarven right, stone sense and kind of knowledge of how fighter. rock works and a fighter three. this seems unusual. Um, That's still a fighter. Then it comes yeah. to a paper? Yeah, it, it, says it kind right of just closes here. right there. Like That's just your level. Okay. Like a, still a wormhole? Like a worm crawled in here or something? Like this is like something burrowed. Okay. Uh, burrowing is your is your guess, but weird. Right like there, everything else, very three. normal. This is not normal. Oh yeah. And there's nothing else in there. It's just <laughs> just weird cavern. There. Weird cavern. All right. Underwater, dark, hard to see. Twenty eight. Yeah, cold. Feel around? Can I feel around cold is another thing we need to talk about, right? This water is very cold. You are uncomfortably you chilly. Have Thirty two okay. points. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try doing a fire bolt with my hands and warm up like the water. water. <laughs> <laughs> so fire bolt does work. It looks like it would not be that as effective against certain, you know. I'll just see if I could like hold it in my hands. Oh and yeah, the water get the energy us. going. Yeah, yeah, and the water behaves normally. It seems like normal water. Okay, I'm gonna tell him this. Okay, this just make weird. sure. Don't kill him. Go, you know, go first. Yeah, oh no, I've noticed. Go first. Um, <laughs> uh, continue so along. I wanna, yeah, head backwards and then keep going straight. And I'm gonna go down I the. I bet you there's bit. gonna be a monster well, we went down that attacks us. We found out that it led to a dead end. Oh, so. Okay. There's gonna be a monster that attacks us. I'm just gonna be like. That's where they is that, is that, yeah, I'm, I'm mapping kind of quick and I'm just, yeah. just assuming that I'm just going to stop and I'm, I'm interested it's in telling you something unless you guys want to be more careful. No, no, no. So There's you're going to walk into a trap if there is one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so tell me tell me if you want me to be more careful. Um, okay, so you kind of walk into an opening area. There's a passage here that's going that's up perception. and it's going up pretty steeply, like okay. more than 20 degrees, less than 45, but like yeah. tube up. Um, and then the passage kind of continues ahead. I'm gonna let's go up. Yeah, just, just My guys yeah, investigate. What would you like to investigate? My guys gonna investigate like the wormhole thing. You want to go back and look more around in there? Why? What is okay, what is okay, your okay. what is your curiosity? Um. My guy's wondering what was there, so let's pretend when we were in there, my guy investigated. Okay. Now I have plus five on investigation, and this die is trained. Um, so, 23. <laughs> okay, so so you are looking for the cause of this curve, and you don't really discover what that is, Cody. There are no clues. It's, There's nothing what? in here. 22. It's a fantastic roll. Your best guess is some kind of creature dug its way in here. 
I can't do a while ago, not today. Okay. Good. As long as we're not dealing with it. All right, let's go. Up the hill. Go up. Yep, up we're the doing, hill. We're doing Somebody up. else's problem. Yep. No bodies, not my problem. Is that a D8? That's a D10. Oh. I'm doing a D10. Okay, so you walk into another one of these kind of like amorphous round kind of spaces. Uh, there is a corridor. Again, it's going up. Um, on the, I'm going to say north. You're not, you guys are your dwarves, right? So that's north. So it's going up in the north. Yeah. Keep following. Keep going. Keep going up until we move on. Do you see a dead end or Fail. get attacked by something? <laughs> Hooray! Let's get attacked by something. Or okay. I just walk into a trap. Yeah. Seems like it's going to be a trap. There's going to be a trap. Knew it! There's going to be a trap eventually. <laughs> For sure. There's always a trap. Okay, so you guys are now uh, walking to another one of these kind of like globular kind of spaces. Uh, passage leading up, not as steep as the previous the ones, but kind of leading guys. up back around the way you came, and then it opens up into another one of these rooms. Okay. He always says it's a trap, but he's it's all It all looks the same, right? Everything else looks the same. Rock, the ground is very, I mean, it's difficult to train. Not only is it hard to walk because you're underwater, but these boulders, bricks, things that you're stepping on are difficult. Okay. So we can move like five feet around in combat. Is that it? <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be slow. There's not gonna be a lot of like. Sh the barbarian charge is gonna be a little awkward. <laughs> it's like charge. 20, oh yeah, and you're still at twenty five feet of movement. So yeah. Um, Good luck with that. <laughs> no, Go. I guess you keep going up, right? Yep. Okay. You keep going higher and higher. But somebody looks for traps. <laughs> I will. I will let you have a trap check right here. I mean, that's so. Uh, yeah, you do. investigation. So, Cody, where are you? Your second rank. Let the gnome go. Okay. Yes, no, let the gnome go first and look for stuff. <laughs> Mike is investigating. Yes, yes. I want to stay roll. back and watch him from a ten um, foot distance and see if he dies or not. Okay, sir. Gets hit by something. Thirteen. Okay. So you're you're looking around to try to kind of figure out which way to go, and and the fighter and the barbarian are like up, up, right, guys, up, and they start hitting this way, and you're like, you look over and you see them step on a trip wire. Stretched across the Listen floor, the there's trip a tripwire. <laughs> and you yell, tripwire! Okay, so Please. save against the tripwire. The tripwire is going to release a net on you guys. So this is going to be a... Is it weighted? Because if it's underwater, <laughs> it's going to fall real slow. Just, like, take our time it's actually getting like... launched somehow. It's coming down very, very quickly. It's a DC 15 dex check, or be restrained. Oh, I'm good at dex, dex. Six. <laughs> Full <Full> net. <laughs> Dex check. Rip the net. <laughs> Damn it. Rip the net. Dex check. Dex. Do I have to make it? Dex is saving. You, you're not there. Nailed it. Uh, Eleven. Which one? Eleven. So you also failed. So the front two me? fighters, a a net launches out of the. Can I the cut ground. it open? Okay. With yeah. So so there's two things you need to know. One. Someone has shaved or carved <laughs> shells, perhaps, into talons and attached them at the knots, and they seem to be dripping with some kind of venom. Ooh. So the net seems to be spiked and appears to be poisoned. Okay. The ways out of this is cut yourself out carefully or tear yourself out as quick as you can. Cut. Those yeah, strategies are going to start doing fire. Wait, wait, we're not. We're not. The, the lots is happening at once here. So the <laughs> next thing that happens is. Are you kidding? Um. Me? Die now. Of course. I knew it. Initiative. From the darkness, in a surprise round, two Ready dwarves with lobster claws, hands, and tentacle feet come swimming quickly out of the darkness at you, surprising you. Okay. Okay. This is very surprising. <laughs> okay. Initiative. So no, no, hold on. So, uh, Cody, you're the black mini. <coughs> we miss, and you're the sorcerer. I have a 13 plus 5 is an 18. Yep. 18 is a hit. So a tentacle wraps around you. You take 5 points of bludgeoning damage and you are grappled. The escape DC is 12. Okay? Grappled? Grappled? Uh, that is the surprise round. Unless anyone else, do you berserk anything at the surprise round? Do you do? I would like to raid, yes. So you can, can activate your rage. You have there's a. Rage to do it. Just rage. Oh wait, I got danger off. sense, so I can't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, that's my. Oh, that's okay. what I was asking. Do you have that berserker feet where you? I do have that danger yeah. sense. Okay. You get that level two. So you oh, get. Yeah, you, you should have had advantage on that dexterity saving throw. 
<laughs> okay, oh, the no. effects I can see. Is that kind of Oh, yeah, you I didn't can see. see did he? You did not. You stepped on a tripwire. Yeah, so no, I didn't count. But, but you do get to act on the surprise round if you want to go into your rage. I'd like to rage and then, um, not very carefully at all, rip myself out of the okay. thing. Not careful. Just an option? <laughs> You're going to get poisoned. You're going to get poisoned. Uh, I'm a dwarf. I'll be fine. Okay. Great. So tear yourself out of the net. Now so that is going to be. So it's very easy. It's actually a DC 10 strength check. That and you have advantage because you're raging. Oh, good. I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not strong at all. That'll do it. <laughs> Double 18. Okay, but you are going to have to make a DC 13 constitution save against poison. You're a dwarf, so you get the poison. Yeah. Advantage 11. An 11? Oh, so you are poisoned. For one hour. Yeah. Oh well. The, the 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 when you just tear yourself out of the net, the shells carve into your flesh and inject this venom inside you. So you know what poison does? Uh, disadvantage on ability checks, right? Yep. Yeah. Attack rolls and ability checks. Does it do any damage? Mm -hmm. It doesn't do any damage. Just normal. Okay, okay, so that was the surprise round. Got it. Also, that was your can I, wait, can I crawl? Net. You're out of the net. You're can still I, in the net. Can I crawl out of the hole? Yeah, you can try to carefully get out of the net and not get engaged yeah, with the I'm spikes, gonna... but it's going to take you a little bit longer. You can also try to attack the net and just cut your way through it. So now we are at initiative. Let me roll for my guys first. I got a 15 minus 1. It's a 14. Okay. Uh, let's go around the room. Yeah, Josh. I got attacked by a giant. Josh, monster. what's your initiative? Uh, 11. 11? I think. Hero? I think it's Um, I got a five. Five. Yeah, Primus? Twelve. Alexander? Uh, five. Can I guess you kind of dwarf Uh, are? you tied with Hero. What's your dex? Uh, ten. Cody dex? Sixteen. Alright, so Cody goes first, and then... Thirteen. Axebeard? Heavy armor? Thirteen. Uh, medium. I don't get heavy armor as a great domain. Okay, so they go first. Yep. And then Axebeard. And then Primus. They didn't get the bonus proficiencies they had in the Unearthed Arcana. And then Josh. And then Hero. And then Alexander. The players have heavy armor. Yeah, the new four has had C-Spawn, uh, Axebeard, Primus, Josh, Hero, Alexander. Everybody good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I purposely got my dance to 14 where it will stay forever. Because <laughs> uh, medium max that. So the C-Spawn are going to... You are you are currently grappled. So they have advantage on their claw attacks. Wait, I'm not grappled. He's grappled by a tentacle. They wrap tentacles around him. Yes. Oh. Oh, I, apparently I have two daggers. Okay, so 15 plus 4 is in 19? Well, yes. That yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yes. And that's 4 <laughs> points of claw damage. Uh, and then Cody. These are claw. Oh, and the 18, so that's a 23 versus armor class. That hits. Tentacle wraps around you, you are grappled, Dang, you and you take five really? hit points of bludgeoning damage as this tentacle <laughs> attempts to squeeze Dang. the air out of you. And and these are not sea monsters, these are sea humans with tentacles and claws. This is gross. They also have these weird fins on the back of their neck head, and it looks like they might be able to do some kind of weird headbutt attack with them. They look spiked and dangerous. Um, Alexander, you're up. Or no, I'm sorry, Axebeard, you're up. Maybe they're sea devils. Uh, I'll turn to this one that's No, here's what you do. You put an S then, on the end, and then you multiply and kill them. Number one? That's beards. Number one, yeah. Yep. I'm going to take the javelin that I have, and I'm just going to throw it Stop at him. Got elves. it. Um, elves. Want to back this attack? I have to be melee for ah. the... No. Uh, Five. ten. Ten is a miss. Congratulations. Then that is... <laughs> you heard the javelin, and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. stop and push the front of your like. Floating. Um, you reach over and grab it. Did the you want to move or are you? Yeah, good? I want to move in front of. Uh, well, I'd like to move right here. Okay. If, he, if he's I, he's still got tentacles wrapped around your buddy. Well, I should be a square four. I need to be in a, a long square. Oh, yeah. So I'm in this square. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm grappling him. So actually, you were already within. Yeah, the you you right you're right there. Yeah. 
Oh, unless you you went on, you were melee range. You didn't. Yeah, well, Zora gave me disadvantage, so it's fine. Okay. So we got disadvantage. Okay. Um. Primus. Uh, I would like to do hold person against both of them. Okay. Wait. Uh, it. Twin. He got a five. DC. Hold person to twelve. What's that? Well, then doesn't up? hold person not work on aberrations because they're not persons. Got... Well, it, it Wait, why am I not up? I got Medium a humanoid. Oh, okay. Is it yeah, humanoid? Was, what did you get on your initiative? Twelve. Oh, yeah. Wait, I didn't go yet. Well, he got twelve. You only got eleven. Yeah, Josh. Here, so it's oh, it's C spawn Alexander Primus Josh oh, Hero Alexander. Yeah. Uh, What's my DC? Twelve. And it's a Dex. I don't uh, think you would want to see a picture. Yeah, first one saved. First one saved. Second one failed. I don't think you would want to see a picture okay. of right. what we're fighting. Second one's paralyzed. So that's pretty good. Yep. Which one is paralyzed? Two. Two men sea monsters. Okay. The one not in front, of course. <laughs> the <Correct>. other one. <laughs> the one that I wanted to be paralyzed isn't. Alright, and that is my turn. Did you want to move or try to break the grapple? Breaking the grapple would be an action? Yes, so I, yeah, it is. So I couldn't. So I can't do anything. Okay. Uh, Primus Josh. Okay, I am going to carefully get out of the. You know, get out of the. The net. Bro, the net, carefully. Yep. Okay. Is that going to take like five hours? That's going to take your move and your standard action to try to wiggle your way out of the net, and it is a DC wiggle, wiggle, 10 wiggle, wiggle. dex. 10 dex. I got a. <laughs> Not a six. Dex. A six. Not a 10. Okay, so then I need a DC 13 con save. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Sixteen. Okay, so you <laughs> saved, and Yay. You, uh, you're not dwarf. Is he dwarf? You're dwarf. No, he's elf. You're elf. elf. So yeah, you're able to get out of the net. Without Your turn is up. over, but you're not poisoned. Good. End of team, Josh. Hero, you're up. Correct. You're right. Is my can I get to go for a double dagger attack? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Wobble wobble wobble. So my guy rolls and and he wobbled away. He wobbled, wobbled. Fifteen on the first dagger. That That's a hit. Wait, can I takes fire my longbow without it? Points of going right. It takes right. four points Fire-wise. of dagger damage. My longbow it. without it going right. Next to me. One. I don't know about that. Will oh. a thirteen hit? It will. We take five points of dagger damage. All right, got take it. Take that, hero Alexander. All right, have any of them been damaged yet? Yes, Cody has dagger number two, which is also held. All right. Oh, um, he was hitting number two. Yes. So those are both crits. Those are both yeah, crits. So that's his advantage on both attacks, and those are both crits. Cody, what is your what is your max damage with your dagger? Um, D four. Oh, he rolled four. it twice. So roll another. Actually, just roll a D four two times. Add those to me. Two, two. and again. Two and four, so six more points of damage. Yes. Thank Ta-da. you. Does that end the hold, or that's... Nope. How do we end hold person? Uh, he gets another save at the end of each of his turns. Got it. Or you can come uh, and go off. Alexander, you're still up. Sorry. Right, so I'm going to cast... Uh, I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on number two, so he makes a um, wisdom save. Wisdom save? Yeah. A DC he, 13. He got a six. All right, so that's pretty sure that'll fail. So he takes a D12 necrotic, and he takes ten. Ten, ten more points of damage... And, uh, that'll He's still time. alive, yeah, Don't but he is badly damaged. I mean, right. tentacles are falling off, nose is bleeding, awesome. does not look good. Cool. And then you take out your car keys. It does a D8, but and if they're damaged, it does a D12. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so that's the end of round one. Yeah, right. Round two, the sea spawn go again. 60 feet. Hi! Uh, the sea spawn on you. Mm-hmm. We'll continue the claw onslaught. Mm-hmm. Uh, 13 plus 4 is 17. Dang it. Just enough. <laughs> and then take uh, four points of damage. A 17 AC and he hits me every damn time. <laughs> when I must... And that's, so that's it. And then hold person, I got an 18 on my save. So it's fine. So, so I've saved nice. from the hold person. And that is it for the bad guys. And it is Axe Beard the Barbarian's turn. I'm going to recklessly attack with my Warhammer. Okay. With two hands. Okay. Wait, no, wait. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not recklessly attacking. I'm just attacking. Why? I'll just cancel on you and get a straight roll. Yeah. No, I have two disadvantage. I have it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Disadvantage, disadvantage is a state. Once it's a state. state. Yeah, once you have yeah. it, you just need to cancel it out once. Never mind it. I will be doing that. There you <laughs> go. So you just roll a flat dice if you're doing uh, it. With, with two hands. Yes. Oh! oh, 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 oh. 
Oh. That's uh, eight plus ten. Eighteen plus strength. So plus three. three plus rage. Plus two. Twenty three damage. Nice. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, oh, no good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, still alive, but I mean, like, major blind blow to the chest. That's, that's how you do reckless like, attack. Like, Holy <laughs> cow. You that, you Primus, you're up. Round two. Uh, uh, sacred flames. Okay. <laughs> On the one in front oh, of you, I'm sure. assuming. I yeah. My deck save is 18. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, Josh. Eh. It is your turn. Okay. You are free of the net. Going to not fire my longbow because that's going to go right in front of me. So um, yeah, I'm going to get a dagger and a short 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 sword. Yeah. Sword sword. And I am going to attack the one that's mostly, or the one that's right next to me. Okay. So a short sword attack? Are you? You're not getting multiple attacks. Are you just attacking short. with short sword? No. You have both attacks. Can I? Can I hit him one hand each? I don't. Do you have? I don't think you have multi attack. I think I should get multi attack. Yes, yes, he has two daggers. Yes, two weapon fighting. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then do it. Go. Okay. So do I roll differently? Yeah, you no. roll two. Two attacks. Two times. So 115. That's a hit. And one. I mean, it's not 15. It is 18. I think. That's a hit. Yeah, and this is nine. Is so, a miss. Yeah. So, 1d6 plus 3 is 9 points of damage. And it dies. Yeah! The sea spawn is dead. Ugh, it starts floating away. Yeah. Quick. Not here, Bell. Hero. Not here, Bell. <laughs> no, I'm taking it with me. I'm collecting the body. It's like Pokemon. Gotta yeah, catch them all. Hero, you're up. It's like Chris Estrada started collecting like, cats. <laughs> Got like eight of those Dude, things. Civil on War. Okay. Cody, you're up. I got a lot of dead bodies the, there. The sea spawn in front of you has just been killed. All right. Oh, I'll shoot my Thunder King on I, that guy. So you spin around and fire across the water. It's Thunder damage, I'm assuming, <laughs> and not. Electrical damage. What electrical kind of damage? All of us. It's, it's ether. Okay, electric magical kids, weapon attack. All of us. No, it's ether like <laughs> a, like a like a natural magic. Thing. Okay. Like okay, a, good. Not electricity. That's all I care yeah. about. Because I'm in here too. <laughs> we don't want to be See, again, mad engineer. <laughs> See, a real scientist would know not to mix electricity and water. And it's not electricity. It's ether. A material that bites from the air in Caladash. <laughs> it's found in the clouds. At the exact opposite time kind of the country. Okay. Oh, excellent. Okay. Excellent. Uh, the whole thing. So, a two. Do I do my disadvantage? <laughs> See if it gets worse. <laughs> See if you get an A. Okay, so will a, will a seven hit? A seven will not hit, Cody. I'll just keep on blasting my hit because it's. Did big. you want to move or are you good? Good. Alexander. All right, uh, told the dead again. Oh, uh, wisdom save. I have a 11. That'll fail. Uh, it takes eight. Necrotic. Eight points of damage. I am still alive. Ah. <laughs> Literally, you know, blood coming out of the nose, blood coming out of the ears. Things are not going very well. <laughs> All right. Um, Sea spawn comes across with the claw attack. Oh, so, for one so, the, <laughs> so the sea spawn has a uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage against anyone that attacks. That's not me. Okay, but he has advantage. Oh, you're one of the. Uh, advantage he has advantage because he's yeah. grappled. So I'm, I'm even. Still. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you have resistance to any damage he does to you. Yeah, that was. Yeah. That was pretty sweet. Oh no, that's a thirteen. Finally, it misses. <laughs> so you have 17 AC. How have you gotten hit so many times? I don't know. <laughs> so he got, he's furious, but he misses. Uh, Axe Beard. I'm gonna whack him again with the Warhammer. Okay. Reckless attack. Recklessly. Yeah, boy. Yeah. 15, <laughs> so 21, 6, Hits. 9 damage. Dead. Woo! Dead, dead, dead. Fantastic. Splat. Kills the second. Um, it shot. You basically chop it in half. It starts floating away. The tentacles kind of falls I off. I grab of a you. tentacle and say, "Here you go." Yeah. <laughs> 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 we need to properly bury this one too. <laughs> Oh. Ah, let's, let's tie them together. Let's make it a chain game of bodies. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no. Do we know where these guys came out of? Were they just okay. Out of the dark yeah, you could do a so so. You had not done. A, you know, you're kind of just walking, not really paying very close attention to the walls. Yeah. Um, 
Your, your best guess is they were laying in wait against these walls, and you just didn't see them. That they were all. pressed up against the walls, and as you walked in, they knew the trap was there, and they were just waiting for you as soon as the trap sprung. Okay. Oh, well, anybody want to take a rest? Underwater? <laughs> nah, let's probably try and get out of the water first. Yes, let's didn't do that. Didn't think so. I will cast your wounds on myself. Then. Can you twin cure wounds on yourself? Nah, you already burned. <laughs> Not, in yourself, no. Not in itself, and also... Can you heal you everyone stuff. else? I'm injured. How much are you injured? Um, I need, I have 16 out of 21 HP, so I technically need five more. Hits. You're fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll live. Um, my right, I'm gonna, and I can heal, but I only do my best healing when someone's already unconscious, so we'll, we'll wait. What do you do when somebody's unconscious? I, I roll max dice. I automatically get max number if they're at zero, so. Uh, so I guess we're going to keep going yeah. through the trapped area that we saw. So even though it's grave domain, it's really against... It's, it's about not stay, staying out of yeah. it. Oh, yeah, you can Staying out of the grave. It's oh, yeah, we, we should let the gnome go first. Now. Mostly undead hunting. But yeah. We're switching the order? As we can cast Spare can, the Dying can, at Shall we let feet. the gnome go first and he can look yeah, for these yeah, things? Yeah, let him go first. Okay. I'll, I'll cast Light on one of his objects or whatever. Uh, just, so Josh, you're moving back? How about the gnome thunder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made of pure magic, I'm pretty sure. Hero goes. can walk up with me. Yeah, my, my thunder. Wait, these are glows, Dad. These are glows, Dad. Yeah, blue. Yeah, it blue glow. Short sword. Kind of like the yeah, moon on his shirt, bell. same oh, color. Which is weird because I have a <laughs> That's a great shirt. <clears throat> there, there was, someone said there was a movie like Pokemon back in the theaters this weekend. Yeah, the, yeah. it's the original one, the first one. Oh. It's like a remix it's, uh, of the it's first a new, five yeah. or six episodes. Yeah. Remix. Did you go see it? No, I'm just familiar with it. Oh, it would have been brilliant. Okay, so I'm sorry. You want to continue in the direction that you were going? Yeah. yeah. So it went the up, the, up, the, up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then let the gnome look for traps this time. It goes and I'm down. back with the orb. Because he clearly knew that it was there, and we didn't. And you know, would have been nice to know. We're all just, like, crashing through. So. I don't know the rules. I just got here. He's going mm. downhill, you said now? Here's the rules. Try not to die. <laughs> try not to laugh. No, try well, not to die. Barrel, so try not to laugh. Try yeah, not to so, die. So the quarter went up, and then it came down. And you open oh. up into another big open space. That was okay. on uh, passage is reading left or right. I want to take a gown and scrape it along oh, the edges of the circle. <laughs> okay. Sure yeah, yeah. You start poking a little bit more carefully in here. You explore it a little bit more. Again, naturally formed underwater cavern. Yeah. Start throwing sure fireballs in all the corners. Now. <laughs> Just walk in. <laughs> fireballs. I'm gonna fireballs. go first, actually, because okay. I also have investigation. So. What's your investigation? Two, but... Oh, yeah, you guys got your party Two, leaders up front now. Two, but it's okay. <laughs> Solid. I already got hit by a trap. So you can go left or right, Zero I guess? Game, north or so. south? Uh, which way leads up? We're going to keep going north. <laughs> yeah, which way? No, which way leads up? Oh, yeah. Uphill. We're yeah, trying up. to get up and out of the water. So, I know, but we went up and then so down. So this way actually get has down, you. and this way appears flat. Gotta catch them flat. all. Okay. Let's go flat. So the down uh, is north, right? This just goes into another water chamber. It looks like it doesn't have any exits over there. Okay. Is there anything else around there? Button. Nothing else in there. Okay. Okay. Check back. Go to the go north. Go down. Go down. I wonder what part of Dungeons and Dragons this is fun. <laughs> where, where you walk around in a bunch of water caverns that have nothing in them for like an hour. Like, what, which one of the three pillars is that? Like, <laughs> every module seems to have more and more of this going on where it's like, okay. Uh, Boring. So this comes out. It looks like this may have come around like this and attached here. And then this comes up maybe like this as you guys head north like that. Oh, so it all, we all ended up in the same spot that we yeah, always did. Yeah. What and as you move forward convenient. here, That's convenient. This, this is narrow and then it widens out quite a bit and then continues up that way. Like that? Yeah. All right. You guys up front, your did that um, passive perceptions did are high or low? Uh, mine are, mine's low. Mine's 12. Josh, what's your passive? My passive, what? 13. 13. Cody, what's your passive perception? Mm. Nothing crazy high. And my passive... I want to ask the Dawn Beacon. I have passive, I don't see passive perception. Can you heal us? Where is I do not have divine healing magic, unfortunately. It's perception? What's your perception bonus? My perception... Okay. Hmm. Plus one. Could you have eight so in the battle? Do you have any sort of magic? What kind of magic do you have, actually? Uh, more uh, prestidigitation, knowledge of the future and things to come. You can see the future, and why don't you want us about the trap, damn it? <laughs> um, 
<laughs> You're a liar! <laughs> I'm carrying around the bodies of the dead, like, we could have not killed these people! Uh, How all powerful are you if all you can do is. I said, you can't tell us! You're really underwater, okay? That's pretty rad! Man! You know, I know, I know, I know people that can make me breathe underwater. <laughs> it tastes stale. Hey, can I mean, you make. The blood from the guys who get murdered is not helping, but you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, why did we kill him? Swords just die. Hey, did the technical monsters have any loot on them? I mean, we would know you're carrying them. Yeah, with I'm us. carrying them around. I guess like pull them up to me and be like, let me check their pockets as, as we're swimming through. They are literally like underwater, little... guys. Why do they need money? I'm like a little kid holding a balloon. Because at some point they weren't underwater, guys. <laughs> it's like, it was a transitional phase. Hey, mommy, can I keep these three dead bodies? No, they go into the ground. <laughs> Like one, strike the hell where they belong! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you need, uh, characters or minis? So you enter, you enter into this larger car car uh, chamber. Yeah. And as you walk in, chocolate monster. you see something large kind of moving at the other end. It's a chocolate monster! It's moving slowly. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna hold everyone back. <clears throat> Giant moving over there. Well, why? You're and in the middle. Chuck, the door <laughs> beacon at it. <laughs> hey, Tom Beacon, you want to tell me what that is and so you can see the future, or should I guess like huck you at it? I mean, I'm good with either one. My powers are not to see the future. The one who is attuned to me may d tap into my incredible powers. Aren't we all attuned? Do to it. Me? it. All right. Well, aren't we all He's so, a crazy one. We're all attuned to you. No, he's attuned to him. There is a connection that you didn't anticipate. Okay. It, it felt like, like a tune mid, but that's yeah. not it's what a, it was. It's a radiation you know, You're kind of probably in the most dangerous spot uh, please, right now. Zero. Mm -hmm. Steve, you can tap into this. Because the back to the orbs. Tap into the orbs. Tap into the orbs. Tap into the orbs. Power. Okay. Okay, and 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 strangely enough, you do are you are able to see through the water with clarity that you can't see ordinarily. Like and the what fog do I see? And do I see this? Okay, I will show you a picture of what you see, Cody. What's yes. the future? What's the stock market look like in three days? <laughs> I need to make some money. Tell me how I die. <laughs> well, stocks in Brovi are down. I just, just knew the warlord is taking over. It's First of all, those were legal. All right, it was a hostile takeover, but it was completely above board. Oh, you see this exactly. Um, hostile equals whale snail. My guy yells. I don't know what that is. What? A whale snail. It's a snail with flails for eye stalks. That sounds amazing. I want one. Okay. <laughs> so, we oh, talk oh, to oh, oh, Cody is somehow oh, telling oh, you that this there's a large something moving. There, kind of I like, think there's a large. So you guys are you guys are, are, are like here, kind of walking through the corridor, you know, slowly, and carefully. A giant and how big is this thing? There yeah, appears to be something flails, here. Flails, okay, we definitely don't walk in there. <laughs> is it as big as like I would be, or is it like bigger, uh, large size? Like we walk up. VW bus. Or bug. Bug? Oh, VW no, bug yeah. with tentacles. Right, VW yeah, bus is a big... I know, I was going to say, that's huge. Yeah. I mean, a bug is not that... A and it's moving at snail small. speed, but so are you guys, right? So... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we can take it. All right. You guys ready? Well, Shall yeah. we do it? Yeah. I, you want me to start? Uh, Absolutely. I'll start. You you start. Wait, I'm, not, start. I'm not happy with my mini, though. My... my yeah, I don't have a snail mini, so... Roll up a bottle of trash. I thought that was going to work better than it I did. have a lot of minis, but I don't have, don't have a snail mini. We just need something that's kind of like shell-shaped. Shell-shock. Shell-shock. Uh, it's like, here's a shell. Why is it being so shellfish? <laughs> Let's now hear it. <laughs> you may pass. <laughs> you may pass. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use this nail as a mount? I have a warlock who's interested in those sorts of things. Hello. And only goes like 10 feet around, but it's cool. Have you checked out the warlock stuff in here? Yeah, the warlock stuff is really cool. Uh, the hex blade, the, the melee warlock. Yeah, really cool. yeah, that one's really cool. Oh, is there's a... oh, is that the one that's like... I will hit you with the water bottle. Yeah, it, it learns like brandishing smite and, and stuff like that. And you can learn like hex blades with like... Back, back to the blade, blade yeah. And you need to have a strength anymore. Yeah. yeah. You can use really charisma awesome. instead, yeah. Awesome. Oh, wow. And yeah, you get perfect. a bonus to charisma as your damage instead of, instead of strength. It's not that big, but it's big. It's like 10 by 10. I need something small. Oh, here. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can, like, you can get like a wraith after you kill a creature. That's a, a 10 by 10 square! You can take a couple of those in Barbarian to get three attacks around with Charisma as your modifier. Guys, there's a brilliant snail! Uh, brilliant snail, guys! Barbarians can also do extra attack at 5th level, but then there's a pact that gives you an extra attack as a warlock, but it doesn't count as the extra attack feature in the original book. Didn't, yeah, but didn't they say, like, this doesn't stack extra attack? Ding dong! But you can do it with the fighter, anyway, you get 3 extra attacks. Okay, so, and so we are, we are pretty much yeah. at scale at this okay. point, right? Yeah. So you guys okay. are in the middle of this you know, uh, 40 to 60 foot wide corridor that's about, you know, 60 to 80 feet long, 100 feet long maybe, tube entering, exiting at the other end. Giant snail. It has five eye stalks that are kind of, look like flails. Huh. Okay. Giant shell. I told you it's called a flail snail. <laughs> Mike, right. is that about these? What? All right, All right cool. Let's kill it. Uh, hey, hey, Mr. Do you Nob, want to go initiative you... here? What's that? Well, hey, Mr. Nob, how far can you shoot? Uh, my guy under, left 500 feet. Underwater? Underwater? Underwater, it goes to half, so 250. Okay. That's more than enough. <clears throat> and it hasn't seen us, so we have advantage if we attack right now. How yeah, you, you would probably have a surprise round. is probably what you would have. So let's right. have a surprise okay. round. I'll do a guidance on myself first, and then tell them, hey, <laughs> those with long range attack now. Uh, throw a javelin in and I'll do a guiding bolt. Um, I'll I'm cast Toll the Dead, but only after they hit it. I will still hit a javelin. I'll, I'll, get that I'll bonus, hit it with that my weapon. Okay, Why hold on. Wait, my weapon. Do I have to use disadvantage with my thunder cannon? Here is it's kind of like you a magical rage. Right you have an eight. Attack you with the car keys. Eight okay. plus six. That surprise round. Five surprise is. Round. Everybody go to surprise round? 14. Josh, yeah. do you have any actions during surprise round? Well, 14 hit. Well, 14 hit. It's not your turn, you Cody. Read. You just make a weapon attack. Long, uh, you can throw your dagger at it. We're yeah, pretty you'd far. Only be able to, you'd only be able to throw it 20 feet. Yeah. With disadvantage. Okay. Stay back and let us kill it. Like, if it, if it's... <laughs> If it's a snail, it'll be so. No, you're gonna. Are you gonna start running towards no, it? 150. Wow. 150. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it doesn't say the range on my longbow, so yeah, I don't know. Longbow would be 150 feet short range, so you could do it that with disadvantage. You would shoot with disadvantage. But surprise round, so advantage anyway. So it no disadvantage. Just a straight roll. Disadvantage. Oh. Even with surprise round. Even with surprise round. Wait, 150. So that's 75. No, 150 is your range with it currently. Yeah, but... Half is 75. Half. Yeah, half is 75. Well, you wouldn't have it. You would just get the small Dis range. Yeah, disadvantage. Yeah, you just get the short range. You can do a disadvantage and do a longbow attack. You have nothing to lose at this point. Okay, why not? You fire an arrow into the dark. Roll two. Yeah. The, oh, yeah, the yeah, additional yeah. disadvantage, because you guys oh, can't yeah. actually see it yet. Um, like, you, you see a dark it's shape, unlucky. but it's, it's very... Big, it's like, he's yelling flail snail and saying all this stuff, and you guys are like... Peering yeah, into the dark. Yeah, you get 19. Yeah. You get plus 4. Oh, 14. 18. 19. 19 to hit. Hits! 19? Yep. That's a great roll. It's disadvantage? Huge. Yeah. Okay. And then D8 plus 3. And then it is 8. 8. Nice! Good opening salvo right there, Josh. Way to get first blood. So you pull back and launch. You don't even see your arrow. It just goes. <laughs> and then you hear, like, something. No, you don't even hear anything. Like, you just fire an arrow to the dark. No, I hit it. Go ahead. I'm going to walk for it. And then I'm going to be so excited when it hits. Um, which I guess is what. You're done. Half of this. Yeah. Wait, make sure there's no traps. <laughs> yes. And then I'm going to try and chuck a uh, javelin at it. Hurling a javelin into the darkness. What, what Go is ahead. The is it 30? 20, 30, 30 feet. Is he close enough? Well, I'm going to try anyway. I don't know if I'm going to hit or not, but I'm going to try. 30. Nah. I, I so, think you're 30. 30. I got a 3, 10, 15, 20, 20 25, 30. So it's stopped it's, right it's, in front it's of it. It's 35 feet away from you. That's okay. That's okay. I don't, I don't see it. Yeah. You're just to hurling it into the darkness. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm used to this working. <laughs> Alexander. This works. Uh, I'll cast a Toll the Dead on it. Okay. So it makes a wisdom save. Wait, hold on. Are you wise or are you... Stupid. Yes. This is not an attack. This is me saving. Yes. And it's what kind of save? Uh, wisdom. 
How wise is this snail? Are you wise or are you Okay, stupid? I got a 19. Ah, that'll resist. So. Okay, now I need you to roll a d6. Oh, okay. The snail is a wise one. Ah, uh, four. Okay, you got a four. So, so, so you, four, so yeah. you know, you're, four, I don't know what four, your range is, but you cast 15. into the darkness. Yeah. Your spell fires off, felt normal leaving, and then all of a sudden you see psychedelic colors start spiraling on the snail shell. Huh. Like it lights up in some kind of pattern, flashing pattern. Yeah. Uh, cuttlefishy kind of thing, okay. but, but going through the standard Cuddle, colors of magic, right? So you get the blue magic and the red magic and the purple yeah. magic and the green magic, right? And, it yeah. and the yellow! No yellow. There is yellow. A good magic, missile. <laughs> magic, magic missile's missile. yellow? Okay. And then surprise yourself. So you cast a spell has seems to have no effect except for the shell starts glowing. Okay. Right. I'm still gonna try a guiding bolt on it. Okay, guiding bolt. Uh, Wait, do, do you, disadvantage? Correct. Doesn't somebody disadvantage, here is not attack. Disadvantage for a couple because, of reasons. Because I can't see it. Yeah. It, well, there's so another reason as well, but yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what is the other? Well, that's a natural oh. one. Okay, so then anything, other, anything other than that, I probably no. D6. We're not wizards. Oh. Yeah, you're still one. One. <laughs> this does not affect an area, right? This is a single target? That was a single target, yeah. Yeah, a guiding bolt single target. <clears throat> okay, so now... The spell shoots off into the darkness and comes flying directly back at you. Make an attack against yourself. With this advantage, I think it does. I mean, the disadvantage would still be in place, right? So it would still be with disadvantage. Thank God, I don't hit myself. <laughs> okay. The, the spell myself. reflected off of something out there. Uh -huh. Perhaps the shell, something else, and comes flying back at you. Ow. Ow. Cody. Uh, um, first thing I have say, one other thing ow. I can do. In surprise round? It's 60 feet away. Oh, no, I already cast it. Never mind. Ow. Okay. Cody. I forgot. I will I shoot my thunder cannon at it. Um, will a 11 hit? An 11 is a miss. Is this a magical attack or a... It's kind of like a semi... It's kind of semi-magic. It's a magic weapon attack? Semi! It's, it's semi magic. Okay, hold on. It's like a natural magic. Like it's a natural current magic. Okay, so then let's so roll a d6. Magic is magic. Yeah, uh, ether guns are magic for, for damage. Ether guns, too. Okay, roll the attack against yourself. With disadvantage. Correct. Yourself. Four. Four! Did you hit yourself? Plus nine. Nine. Miss! I miss myself. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, that's surprise round. Anyone else want to move to anything else? No, we're good. Good. Okay, initiative. Hey. Hey. Ah. Oh boy. Oh. You are the one. That's a twenty. Eighteen. This is the, one of the. This is the Sword Coast Adventure. Here. All right, so let's run it down, Josh. Uh, Josh, what do you get? What? Initiative. initiative. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm Yes, I got a 21. 21. I go first. 21? Uh, I think I go first. Yep. Yeah. Axe Beard. Five. Uh, Alexander? Uh, 20. Uh, Primus? Seven. Hero? And the flail snail, and that is everybody. Okay, so the order is going to be... Josh. Alexander. Hero. Flail snail. Primus. And Axebeard bringing up the rear at five. The rear end. All right, Josh, your turn. Round the one. The rear end. We keep rolling fives. For Never this put your rear end on the pirate's face. I, I rolled a two, but I cast guidance on myself before. So I at least what are you gonna do, Josh? Okay, There's I'm a flail snail, and it's and it's okay. still Nailed that it. strange flickering yeah. color thing. I, you guys I can actually see I don't that. Know if I should color use. psychedelic rainbow kind of thing. Long range. Oh, so we can see it now. So yeah, we don't have to see it as much as you can. You might have disadvantage for other reasons, but you can. I'm, they're I'm definitely outline of the creature. Like, I'm gonna shoot it as one of its eyes. I think. I don't All know. right, longbow. Longbow. Really Ten. Ten is a miss. Ten. 
Hey, I'm like, good luck carrying Alexander. this to the water. Uh, are we still underwater? You're still underwater. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. Okay, I thought we weren't underwater. I was about to be like, I need to cut the dead bodies off me before I move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see. I'll move up to to here, and then um, uh, I'll cast Toll the Dead again, so Wiz can save for it. Are you enjoying being underwater? Are you enjoying so having your balloons? 14. <laughs> uh, 14 will save. Yeah, bombs. This is, does this affect single creature or is it multiple creatures? Uh, single. D6? Yep. Uh, 3. No effect. Okay. So you cast into the darkness and you just see the shell is like that flickering pattern seems to accelerate when your magic goes off. Alright. Uh, Hero, you're up. That's okay, because we all just do magic anyway, so we're just going to keep doing it. We're just going to overload it. <laughs> we're just... We're just gonna keep going and hope. I'll shoot my out. ether gun. Yeah. All right, fire. Fire away. I'm gonna be literally made fire. Just I'm nine. Gonna You're gonna use fire wave? Um, so Underwater. will a 14 hit. A 14 will not hit. What the heck? Oh, and since it's magic. D6. Also, we're using fire underwater, so. It's not fire. It's ether. Okay, uh, an explosion radiates out from the creature. You guys can hear the concussive blast underwater. It looks like poof, where he's standing, or where he's crawling, where he's pseudopodding. Where he's just sitting. <laughs> I don't know, what is this? It doesn't sit. What does the snail do? He's not standing. Stay away. He's <laughs> existing. He's, he's being, yes. He's, he's pseudopodding. The okay, so yeah. is pseudopod. You fire, and you see this. You know, boom! And <laughs> you're like, I don't know what that is. Um, I, I'm like, maybe I use pretty. my super well, shot or like, what? We at least have range, so you know what? Yeah. Just don't, just don't the snail still turns, and slowly he begins his charge. He turns, slowly. He'll get, he'll get there okay. like four Everybody rounds. Everybody run away. <laughs> well, how far out did the, 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 the go? The Difficult, bird. 15 feet-ish, you would the guess? Bird. The bird! Yeah, yeah, the bird! The bird! The uh, bird! Primus, you're up. Oh. Oh, yay. Uh... Because it can't possibly go wrong. I'll do a spiritual weapon right there. Alright, so you cast spiritual weapon. And so I get to make a melee spell attack with advantage or disadvantage or... This is straight melee, right? Spiritual weapon this is, is melee, a weapon. It's a melee spell attack, though. You summon you the tell weapon me. and then it attacks. Yeah. Yeah, so that's straight melee. Yeah, you just summon the it, uh, spear. It, but, it, but it's I'm a melee, but I still have to do it with a melee spell attack. So it's still a spell, but... A spell? Well, I mean, uh, it's a spell attack. The weapon makes the attack, right? It's yeah, it's going to be a weapon attack. So you, you could just make it a trident that you don't have disadvantage on. You can conjure any, you can conjure any Yeah, but the, the creature grants spell. disadvantage on attack rolls... Spell attack rolls against the snail has disadvantage on the so attack. Yes, roll. So this is a spell attack. Advantage. So he still yep. has disadvantage. Uh, oh, not bad. Well, that's a 19 anyway. A 19 is a hit. If it wasn't, I'll three damage. Try. Takes three. Yay! Quee! It's something. <clears throat> All right. Yay! That was Prime that Sister. Was, Did you want to move? That, uh, yeah, that was bonus action though, so I still have so Sacred Flame. Okay. I am making a Wisdom save. I got dex, a actually. 2 and a 15. My dex is not good. I got a 12. Oh, it's just enough. I got 17, 19, All right, 20. D6. 3. 3. 5. I got 2 threes and a 2. Your stick rubber can't take damage. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, so another. you can clearly see it's it's a fairly large burst. Of, so you cast... This, this radiant energy comes down on the shell, and the shell just blasts the radiant energy out 15 feet. Got to back up as much as I can. So you're going to move back. Yep. You are this guy. I don't 20, know what your move is at. Uh, 25 feet, so underwater is like, what, 10? <laughs> so okay. You, you cool. get to there. <laughs> cool. Did you guys drop the orb, or are you still holding the I'm orb? I'm still holding the orb. Okay, you've got the orb. Hand, so. Okay. Uh, that is Primus' turn. Axe Beard. Right, I'm going to move up. <laughs> yes. Hey, Cody, what I'm is gonna it going to do next? You have the mines. My game, check to see what it's going to do next. You're going to go into the explosive <laughs> radius? That's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna in, the I say again, you're going into the explosive radius. I'm going to start and I'm going to throw a javelin at it. Javelin. Wow, that's great. Not recklessly, just normally. Okay. <laughs> My game says, I think it's going to eat us. Oh, oh wait, disadvantage? Yeah. 
Uh, he's not range attack underwater. Yeah, what, but what javelin. Oh, javelin. Strength Everybody based range attack. Do not grant disadvantage. All right, then six. It's just uh, longbows and yeah, crossbows are fine too. Twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two is a hit. Nine damage. And I'll take nine damage. You're raging too. Plus two. I, I think it's only if you have a no, melee it's, weapon. Melee no, weapon it's strength based attack. weapons. Strength -based no, it's just when you make a melee weapon attack using strength, you gain plus ah, two damage. Okay. Mm. So so eleven. Yep. No, no. Nine. 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 Okay, got Nine it. Damage. Yeah. That's not I'm just going to double check this. That's the end of round sprints. two. Round three, Josh, you're up. We're doing a rule check while you're doing that, but we could be able to do that. Yeah, melee mm -hmm. attack weapon. Three melee. So <laughs> I am going deal. to go back up. Wait, I can move. I'm going to actually go away. Right here. And shoot an arrow at it. Okay. And it gets oh, and you can 12. Do, you can do reckless attack, though. 12 to hit is a miss. Ah. So you fire. Yeah, reckless is Ooh. just when you make your first attack on your turn. You can cyber attack right But then doesn't it say doing so gives you advantage on melee weapon attacks? Using strength this turn would attack up against you have advantage. Yeah. Oh, melee weapon. Okay. Yeah. Alexander, you're up. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing what I do, and I'm gonna pull the so dead. So you're saying the barbs are meant to be fails. in your face. <laughs> pull the dead. This is a wisdom saving throw. Yep. I have a twelve and a four, so twelve. Uh, those will miss. Okay. Ah, uh, takes one damage. One point of damage. <laughs> Got it. Dang. Oh, wow. uh, you're tolling that dead. You're hero, tolling you're up. Dead. I just need one good roll. My guy will blast this thing. All right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna go for my long thing. Um. <laughs> uh, don't, don't. Yeah, at least ash it in the water where it'll spread. Because <laughs> physics again. No, I, wait, I thought. Science. Science. <laughs> oh, I. Again, I just did my yeah, roll. Yeah, Liquid physics, clearly again, engineer. <laughs> <laughs> he would know you don't at least acid underwater. Man, no, no, that's science. Fine. Okay. <laughs> that's principles. The physics of water? <laughs> no, 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 not releasing acids in water. Okay. science. Hey. That's chemistry. Like I, I'm willing to argue it. I could be wrong. <laughs> I, I've been enjoying the discussion so far. I've been enjoy I think you've been right, but I think that one might be science. Ten? <laughs> With a no, that's a miss. What kind of attack is this? Like All right, roll a d6. Roll a five or a six, please. Three. Three. Nothing happens. To the shell. Oh, 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 oh! oh. You're close to the shell. Um. Oh God, we just charmed the barbarian, didn't we? Barbarian just got charmed. Oh, we're dead. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm raging. <laughs> okay, so DC 15 wisdom save. Oh, God, really? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when you're raging, you have immunity. immunity. You have immunity when you're in rage. Immunity to what? Nope. No, no that's, not, that's only if I'm... Uh, not, that's... That's not how that works. That's a different... That's yeah. a 12. Do you have proficiency? No. No, you don't. <laughs> that's a 12 on wisdom saving you're throw. Dead. Yeah. You're dead. You're so you're stunned. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> There's worse things to be, but but yeah, you look up and you suddenly see this spiraling colors start to kind of resonate through the water and you're like, whoa. Wait, I'm, not, I'm not in melee range yet. No, no, you're not, oh. but you're you're within range of this effect. Yeah, yeah. The, the, it's a 30 foot... Um, Stunned, huh? That's uh, it? Scintillating shell is the actual name of the effect. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. You can write that down in your character sheet. You've been, you've been scintillating I shell. I made character. <laughs> I should have made my orc barbarian for this. <laughs> Why? Like, Cause magic, <laughs> and what do I do? Magic. Uh, what, what can I not do? Everything but magic. Uh, <laughs> and that that goes off at the end of his next turn. Okay. So that you're under that effect till the end of his next turn. All right. And it is his turn now. End so of his next turn. Oh, Snail's yeah, next, next turn. turn. So right. in that his turn is now. So it's not gonna last very long. Um, Snail moves forward two squares, which doesn't provoke from the weapon. <laughs> no. The weapon. And but but it would have to go around it. Uh, no, I put it right it, can't go under it, can't go around it. You can go uh, three squares with a blessed weapon in it. Okay. Yeah. okay. You can walk through um, it. Okay, so now it just ends where it was. all yeah. of the flail snails flails are attacking you. Sweet. Bring them and on. And he actually, oh, when, you first, when you first saw him, Cody, there were five. They get two of the snails flails seem to have withered. Aww. Since you guys have been blasting it. So there's only three active oh, thank God, it's not flails right get... now. Five attacks with advantage because you're stunned. Because <laughs> uh, good luck, even barbarian against that. 
Okay, I, I, I can be able to handle this. 18. Hits. 23. Natural 20. Woo! So you're gonna take 24 points of bludgeoning damage. You get resistance Woo! on resistance. that though. So you take 12. That you is get resistance. Stupid, stupid barbarian. How much do you start with? 32. Oh, what? <laughs> I, got, I got plenty of. I got that was with the crit. Yeah. Ah. Barbarians, man. That D12 okay. hit dice uh, was a lifesaver. The right. scintillating shell goes off, but I can reach it. And then the draws in the shell, it gets pushed by the sun, which can also merge the shell into the section. Sure, okay. Uh, so, end of my turn, Primus. Okay. Am I still stunned, or is that... Stunned went off. So the, the flickering colors that were going off, they They're seem gone. to have died down a little bit. It's not... Hendrix has left the building. <laughs> Who's up after me? I am. Cool. Uh, I'll, do the, I'll do the spiritual weapon first. I'll leave you with a pinch. Yep. Actually, you don't need it. I you can do it anyway. You're, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> uh, I can do everything. <laughs> I will try a guiding bolt again. On okay. Because this will work for sure. Hail Mary. Ten. Ten versus armor class is a miss. So hang on. Oh, my other oh, my other was up there. Uh, well, a sixteen hit. A sixteen is a hit. <laughs> you you rolled with disadvantage and then you with disadvantage and then I favored okay. by the gods. I can add two d four to a missed attack roll or failed save. Got it. Once per short rest. Yep. Nice. So. For that was forty six is guiding bolt. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Ah! Woo! Woo! Eighteen. 18. Damage. One more of the flail stalks withers as he takes the incredibly powerful okay. damage. Oh also, the spiraling shells seem to dim. Dim. The shell light dims a little bit because of the hit. Uh, that was my action. Now my bonus action. Yeah, bolt. With, the, with, adva yeah, so with, with advantage. With advantage on a next attack. Yeah. So it's going away right now, but I don't have to disadvantage on this attack. Correct. Right. And that is a 17. Well, and I don't. You have advantage, right? I don't think. Why do you have disadvantage with spiritual weapon? Oh, because it's a magic attack. Because right, may, may spell it. Because spell attack. Got it. So 17. 17 is a Wait, hit. Dice in this bag? Huh? Ooh, Ten. Wow. Okay. Axe spear. Twenty-eight uh, damage. Hitting. <laughs> Warhammer. Raging. Uh, reckless. And. Warhammer. Raging. Reckless. <laughs> All, All, the All the other keywords. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Nineteen. Is a hit? Alright, you do Seven plus five. Seven plus five, twelve. Twelve yes. points of damage, I take it. And... Holy cow. That's it. Does this thing have resistances? Like, does it matter if it's blunting or piercing? Because it has a shell, I'm assuming it would be resistant. Or radiant or radiant. It does, it does, or radiant. It, 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 so, so you, you recollect the flail scale lecture back in grade school. <laughs> yeah, back um, in grade school. You think school. it's only immunities or things like poison and fire and stuff like okay. that. It doesn't have any kind of damage. Okay, like that, cool. So. Yeah, but, and it has taken a truckload of damage. You guys have hit it quite a bit. Cool. Uh, end of round. Yep. Josh, round four. I'm going to... Oh, what do you know? Hit it with a bow. Okay. What do you know? Hit it with a bow. Fifteen. Do you have disadvantage? Why does he have disadvantage? Well, ra range weapon attacks have disadvantage. Yeah, you're losing a longbow. Yeah, okay, roll again. What? Roll again. Uh, uh yeah. 21. <laughs> so what was the first one? 15. 15 is a miss. Oh, yeah, it's a 15. Oh, that's 16. Oh, yeah. No. Miss, Josh. Ah. Punk. Ow. <laughs> the arrow Alexander, you're up. Alright. How uh, many more sites? You let it go, <laughs> and then the water just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, His you own guts kind of. Um. It hits another dead body. <laughs> It's a random it's a water current. Alright, uh, I'll cast a uh, Bane on it. So okay. Here's already moving. Bane! And then a... I got a six. So it fails, so uh, every attack and saving throw it makes for the next minute, uh, you subtract a d4 from it. D4 from me. I should have done that earlier. Got it? Why do you do it when it's almost I didn't want to miss messing it up. <laughs> Hero, you're up. Blast it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh. Uh, okay, no matter what I missed. Oh. Yeah. D6, Cody? That will be D6. Six. 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 Fantastic. <laughs> the snail shell converts some of the spell's energy into a burst of destructive force. Each creature within 30 feet of the snail must make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. 
Everybody but me, because I was running away like a coward. Uh, so I get plus yes. three, so that's, Damn it. I'm fine with that. Nine. Uh, all right. Nine constitution saves. Ten throw. constitution saves. Throw. You guys saved? You I failed. Nine failed. failed. Cody, then what level? This spell doesn't have a level. What level attack. are you? I am level. Wait. I'm level. I am level three. Okay. Alright, so con saves for you two as well. Yep. Con saves, Josh. D twenty. Con. Nice. nice save, Cody. Save. Twenty one. D twenty. D twenty. Twenty. Yep. Same. Right. Con? Constitution, it is oh, wait, 12. No, I got it. 12 is not good enough. Not Constitution, it did say 20 then. You saved. Okay, so if you saved, you take 2 points of damage. If you did not save, you take 5 points of damage. Okay. Oh, oh good. <laughs> uh, this is force damage. You are not uh, a sucker. That's the same as blood. I'm gonna use. I'm using this. So as whoever's. That's not unless you're. Go ahead. Not unless you're a totem of the uh, bear. Yeah, bear gets immune to everything but psychic. <laughs> yep. Not immune. Not immune. Yeah. Resistant. Uh, flail snail. There's only one eye stock remaining. All right. It, and it brings it down hard upon your head. With advantage because you reckless. But minus a D4 because. But minus the D4. <laughs> Okay, so I only won the one on the D four. I have a fifteen plus. What if he rolled a four? That is a, roll a four nineteen on the to hit. Oh. So you're gonna take six points of bludgeoning damage. Cute. 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 Uh, okay, that's no good. And Primus. Okay. Uh, well, spiritual weapon. Just yes. Bonus action. <laughs> I almost fell off my chair. Oh, look chair. at that. 14. 14 to miss. Yep. I almost fell off my chair. Well, that way can't go flying back at me because it's over there. <laughs> Alright, barbarian. Uh, sacred flame. Oh, sacred flame. Sacred flame. I am Cause saving cause with wisdom. Save minus D4. Minus D4. I rolled a 1 twice, <laughs> so I have failed. <laughs> minus D4. Minus the D4. Yeah. Yeah. Negative. <laughs> yeah. Negative. You could very well kill it. <laughs> 3. It is still alive. I have a burn. You're up. I think you can finish okay, it. Okay, it's in a lot right. of trouble. Axe beard. All of it. Reckless attack. All of them. <laughs> Everything I can possibly do. 18, 23. Hits. For 10 damage. As you drive your Warhammer axe, what are we using? Warhammer. Warhammer into it. You remember in Dwarven Armor School yes. that this shell is worth a ton. Oh, yes. I don't destroy the shell. Then. This is worth like serious bank. Like yeah. you are now very, very rich if you can figure a way to get the shell out of here. Yes, <laughs> get tied to the body. Don't care. <laughs> we, we don't have to bury the shell. Oh, I'm selling that. Chocolate? You know, I'll just put the bodies in the shell. We'll just, uh, we'll can you go get the some money chocolate? though? Mm -hmm. Hey, Josh, can you go with Cody and get some chocolate? Yeah. Yes. Yes. They got chocolate. Okay. Get some for everybody, guys. Get it all. <laughs> get it all. Get it all. Buy all the chocolate. Hands. I want him in. Get it all. Okay. Uh, so the snail is dead. Yep. You think that this shell is worth like tons of gold. Oh, yeah. You're not exactly sure how much, but like five to ten thousand gold. Let's start taking the shell off. Man. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll just use this, this the spiritual weapon <laughs> as a sword and start cutting. Oh yeah, yeah. So you remove the flail snail flesh. It, gory, gross, stinky, yuck. <laughs> and we're underwater, so it goes everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Exactly the order. All of it. You didn't Kit Kats are the worst. <laughs> the Kit Kats are amazing. You like the Kit Kats? I love Kit Kats. Give him a Kit Kat, Cody. <laughs> Here's a Kit Kat. Yeah, my dude. Hershey's. Yeah, Every Hershey's. Every kind of bag of these at home, the, I love Kit Kats. Kick me the Hershey's, man. A few Hershey's. I, I just need one. Oh, I just need one. You want a Hershey's or a Kit Kat? Kit Kats Hershey's. for suckers, man. I love Kit Kats. <laughs> I love Kit Kat. <laughs> Kit Kats are good. I like Butterfingers. Oh, get in your teeth, man. You never get that spot in your That's teeth. That's why you have it forever. <laughs> <laughs> you taste it for the next hour. It's great. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, what is the what flavor is a Butterfinger? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. butter. Is that peanut butter flavor? Uh, it's like being a dog with peanut butter in your mouth. Except in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this shell is massive. Um, Volkswagen bus size. Yeah. But you're underwater, so it's very light. Should we... Crack it up into pieces? No, no, we'll no, keep no, it. no, no, no. That'll ruin the value. Thing. That'll ruin the value. Okay. Come on, didn't they teach you anything? No, they charge it not. has price. But then. it's pretty big, so I store the bodies in it, so it's just easier to carry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so so you, no, no, don't. You might break the shell. 
No, I'm no, careful. Good. I work with dead bodies. I got it. So, like, I pulled their arms. I put little yeah. coins in their eyes. Kind of. So, that interesting yeah. enough, the that's protecting maybe. Well, Remember, I described earlier that well. there was a lot of kind of like silt or some kind of yeah. detritus on the ground that you were going to kicking yeah. up. It appears that the flail snail was like eating or cleaning that because here the water has become much cleaner. Mm. Huh. Uh, the the visibility is better here than it has been before, but it's also um, where's my map? Um, it appears that down here you're getting some radiant light as well. So there's illumination kind of coming from the end Yay, of this tunnel. Yeah, you see the okay. escape? Nope, it's a trap. Oh no. That's a camera item. Okay. And we're about like on the along the walls or anything. Been on the ground, but I don't. Think again, it again, anything. not as much vegetation and silt. Okay. Okay. Keep it moving forward. Silt the right word. This is silt, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, I think we keep it moving. Okay. Yeah. Passage here is going up. New map. The passage emerges into a vast... Um, so you come out of this passage into this rock, right? Yeah. As you walk, the rocks start taking on different hues. Huh. So before, all the rocks seemed very black. Maybe because you're underwater, maybe you weren't really checking very closely. But now there are white rocks and black rocks and blue rocks and pink rocks. Different colored rocks. All the same type of rock. All the same type of rock, but most of it is that same dark colored rock, but there are speckles of other colors here as well. Um, you are standing on what appears to be almost like a sand dune at the bottom of a water. Uh -huh. right? so, so rolling hills, uh -huh. but made out of this material. Okay. The light here is ambient. Uh -huh. So the light source is clearly up, but when you look up, you don't see a sun. You just see kind of permeating light. Uh -huh. And it's illuminating everything kind of evenly. So you've come out of a very dark kind of claustrophobic caverny kind of space and now you're like standing in like the middle of the Sahara rolling kind of sand dune looking hills yeah. lots of light um, as you're looking up you know kind of observing you know trying to figure out where the sun's coming from or whatever you notice a enormous uh, I'm gonna say whale giant floating creature um, at least as big as the biggest whale you could possibly imagine. It is white and gold in color, like with spotches or specks, long fins, and it's floating maybe 100, 200 feet above you. It's kind of circling it's up lord. and down. Whale lord. My guy, my guy's like, my guy sees the future of what it's gonna do to you, us. You see the future, you, you look to this fish and you, you, you're not holding the orb. He's taking the orb yeah, from I've you, Cody. I've had the orb for a while. To prevent you from doing strange things. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, your, your party, your party is not pleased with your gnomish behavior, Cody. What also, or what the hell, man? <laughs> These are dwarves. Dwarves are very serious. Your gnome-like traits are not respectful. I'm, I'm a human. I'm a I just have no humor. He's a human who wishes he was a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're born in the wrong race. So we're still underwater, and we the water is very born different. About twice as and tall as you should. You said that <laughs> so there's no ceiling at this point. It's just sky that we see or light. Can I have the last right. Cat? Um. So you see, and, but you do see this giant creature floating above you. I have the last kick. 100, 100, 200 I feet up. I ask the orb, what is, you know what that, what that is? Let me just, so there's other, Oh. from where you're standing, you're kind of at the base of a hill, it goes up. To your right at the top, there is a strange looking, Narwhal. I'm going to say castle. Why it's narwhal? made out of uh, gray, black, white, speckled rock. Looks like it carved from a solid piece of rock. Four um, rooks, four towers, a central opening in the middle, um, 40 to 60 foot walls. It's partially submerged underneath the sand. To your right, uh, the slope dips down and it appears there's a bed of perhaps giant shellfish. Huh. That's creepy. The, behind you, the hill goes up. You're kind of at the base of this. Behind you, the hill goes up, and you see more of the same. Water and this rock okay. going into the horizon. Okay. All right. Or yeah. this orb. Yeah. Or yeah. Where, where, we're not out of the water. Why should we keep you now? <laughs> where do you oh, need to go? Wait, we're out of the water? No, you're still no, underwater. We're still underwater. Oh. We're just like mm -hmm. in the ocean now rather than in the cavern. Yeah. How do we get out of here? No, where right? do you need to go? We need to move quickly to the edge. Quickly. Why? Which edge? Which way is the edge? In any direction. You're in the middle. Oh. 
What's that whale well, looking why thing? Do we, why does it matter for quick or not? Stay very, very far away from that. <laughs> we catch a ride with it? He will consume you. Oh, man. Where are we? <clears throat> you think about it for a second. It very much feels like you're in a fish tank, but you're very small. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 all right, I've seen, right. I've seen Finding Nemo. We just need to get to the filtration system, and then we're just going to shove the orb in there, and then we're going to escape, and that's, that's his problem from now on. You're, you've now entered part two of the module. Part two, Escape or Die, is the, is the title. All right, let's uh, head towards the castle. Let's, let's yeah. go away from the big thing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the big thing is is up. You guys have not been doing much swimming. You haven't yeah. tried to really swim. You've been swim. walking. Mostly. You've been walking. Okay. So let's go Switch up the hill. hill. We, we must be carrying some really heavy stuff. We can just walk along the bottom <laughs> of the water. And not you're walking float. very slowly, and you're not you're not really floating. You're kind of bouncing along the bottom. We're all, we're all stout, dwarven, up, up and weird human builds. And, and yeah, I, fish I get, are friends, not food. I got a lot of extra weight though, so I'm kind of stuck. So what color is the fish? Hopefully that there? whale knows that fish are friends. White and gold. That's That's cool. Mostly gold, with like splotches or patches or spots of white. Fish are friends. Oh, it's a koi fish. fish. That's adorable. (laughs) So, to the castle? Yep, to the castle. To the castle. Okay. Uh, as... wake up and saw some really, really, really messed up dream. <laughs> yeah. You're still dragging the shell behind you with these bodies tied into yes. some kind of weird yeah. rope harness. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh... Ooh, as you as you close it. in, hopefully it doesn't see that giant glowing shell. Yeah, well, I'll just hide in the shell like a hermit crab and just walk anymore. along we the bottom. It. To one side of the What's fortress is an area of though? dense underwater plant life. Okay, and the other side, uh, the as, as you're running towards it or hurrying towards it, you you get closer. It's about forty feet high. Very symmetrical fortress, opening no portcullis or anything like that. Just opens up. As you're moving towards it, you notice that there's this kind of forest or there's this plant vegetation growing to the right. Is it plastic? There's nothing uh, inside oh. the fortress, which is unusual, plastic. right? It, it's literally like just like an opening. Yeah. And when you look in, you would expect to see stables or a church yeah, yeah. or some kind of structures, blacksmiths. There's just space inside the middle. But is it closed in? It is not. It's open. Okay, let's run away because I don't want to get eaten by a whale. Do you? Of course no, I do not. And uh, is there a way to is is there a gate there? No, there's no there's, there's no gate. There. No on the on there. the fortress, the fortress. There's no there's an opening, but there's no gate or anything like that. Okay. Let's get out of here, my guy yells as Mikey starts running away. Well, we don't want to go in there. We want to go to the edge. The, how big is the opening? Uh, so the walls are about forty feet high. The opening is probably fifteen by fifteen. Do we have a oh, that thing's way too big to make it in there anyway. Let's arcing. go. Yeah, we'll be safe. Arcing. Yeah, yeah. But there's, there's no there's no roof inside. Like when you were to go inside, okay, you're not breathing water it's not. Anymore. It's it's open Why? air. Oh, right, so we have to go past. We have to open go the water. There's no orbs there. We have to go to the edge, right? Yeah, we we'll we'll just keep going. We just keep go going. Through just keep going. Okay, so what there's the vegetation on the right. There's no vegetation on the left. All right. Okay. Let's go hide in the, the vegetation. vegetation. All right, so you start heading towards the vegetation. As you close in on the vegetation, a group of fierce-looking creatures whose bodies are comprised of living algae shaped into the form of vicious merfolk appear, swimming rapidly in your direction. Higher than the shell. Yep, everyone in the shell with the bodies. Algae pygmies <laughs> is the official definition of these guys. There are six of them swimming at you cold quickly. They have a swim speed, and they're moving much more quickly than you guys are in the water. Can you use, like, a plus 90 swim speed? Do we attack oh, first? Oh, my God, yells Could they be friendly? Probably they not. They be friendly. They could. Eh, when was the last time you heard of a friendly pygmy? Let's, let's be fair. I can't remember well, that. Well, I'm... Pygmy, period. <laughs> how far... Are they within 120 feet? They are within 120 feet of you. I'll cast... You, you guys were running kind of towards the main entrance. They are emerging from the vegetation on the... I'm going to say south side, the right side. I'll cast messages and say, hail, friends. Uh, common? Sure. They do not speak common. I'll try it in Dwarvish, then Draconic, then Orc. (laughs) Their language is... Speak Orc. Algae Pygmy. (laughs) I didn't know that one. That that shouldn't count as a language because I'm taking it the next chance I get. But they do not speak a language that you speak. All right. Uh, Everybody on the shelf? Can they read... Feed. You're gonna climb into the. I'm gonna stand there with my warhammer. <laughs> okay. Just be act friendly. Just talk. <laughs> hello, hello, friends. Can you describe them as vicious. Do you really think they're gonna negotiate? 
You never know. Yeah, I do this now. Let me try so the, speaking underwater. The Hold on. is 30 feet, so they move six squares and another six to you while you guys are looking at them. So they are now okay. within about 20 feet of you. That's great. All right. They do not seem to be slowing down. They appear to be attacking. That All right. Great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Roll for initiative. The attack. I, yeah, I'm in. I'm going to hide in the shell. Uh, you can be in there with the dead body. You're blood. climbing into the shell, Cody? <laughs> okay. What? With the I'm dead gonna have bodies? all the veggie pigments go at the same time at a truly We don't know time. if they're completely dead, but <laughs> better than getting eaten by pygmies. Okay, let's fight them. Hey, do you guys want to just use the same initiative? Do you want to mix it up? You care? Do you want to roll again? Uh, same. Uh, it's no difference. Same. 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 It's just, it's roll, just again, roll again. Roll again. <laughs> okay, Cody. Five we'll roll 21. again. I have a twenty-one. Josh, what'd you get? Better. I got a re-roll. You <laughs> 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 got an eight. An eight. And it then, uh, Axe well. Beard. Eight as well. Really? Axe Beard, I Dex, just got eight. Dex, Dex, Dex. Uh, yeah, yeah, you first. Yeah, first, yeah. Uh, Alexander. Eighteen. I just got a twenty. Bless you, Cody. Uh, Primus. Fourteen. Fourteen. Hero. Nineteen. All right. Okay, so it's going to be Hero. Alexander. Okay, how long, uh, I don't have that much time left. Okay, we're about 15, this should be quick, we're about 15 minutes. 15 minutes? 15 to 30. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, I'll think more 10 minutes. I'll go as fast as I can. Yeah. We'll hustle through this. I mean, even if I, you guys can finish it off. Yeah. Yeah. Hero, Alexander. We'll let you know what you get. Yeah. Uh, Primus. And how many pygmies are there? Six. Okay. I'm just going to say burn them. Underwater? Like, sacred flame. Okay, hero, you're up. It doesn't actually do fire. Right, hero. You're up, my dude. Okay, I'll blast him with my gun. Okay. Still do disadvantage. Yep. I think I missed. <laughs> oh, and my computer died. Wait, why are you doing disadvantage? Because it's a ranged, ranged attack. attack. That's weird. Got it. Water. I said, do I still have disadvantage? You do. Yes. Oh, and my character and my battery just ran out. So let's just say a pygmy. Off my head, <laughs> I can't play oh, here you can. We can charge you right here, Cody. Come sit over in this okay. seat. Switch with Josh. So I get to. So I get to. So as soon as I'm conscious, I get to do all. We come in like peace. That. We're gonna eat you now. Josh, you and Cody are switching sides. What? Cody's device went lead. So that's Cody's turn. Alexander. Um, I'm gonna aim at one just, of them. Just switch chairs. Yeah, just switch, yeah, chairs. switch chairs. Don't drag the chairs. Just switch chairs. Uh, I'll uh. Point at three of them and cast a Bane again. So okay. Wisdom saves. Wisdom saves. Uh, Twelve wisdom. Let me make sure I'm not doing this wrong. Twelve. You don't need that to know. Twelve, eleven, and nineteen. Uh, two of those fail and one succeeds. <clears throat> All right. So um, that's my turn. Okay. Fail. Fail. Okay. Uh, Wait. They uh, fail or you they fail? Make attacks. Attacks. They make attacks. Yes. Wait. They Primus, fail. Primus, you're up. Primus. Yep. They fail or you fail? They fail. Let's see. Let's see. They fail or do you fail? I can either bless or I can do a twin guiding bolt and try to take out two of them. Wait, do you fail uh, or do you do a twin guiding bolt, I guess. Yeah. I'll have to go, go big. Yep, yep. I don't know. So I'll go guiding bolt on go the bigger, go two home. that uh, on two of them that weren't hit by the bane. Can I have a dollar so on what I need to do spell we, I see you with money, Cody. Did we spend all our money? What? No. Yes. Yeah, we did. I yeah, think. you. I don't know. Well, but the only chips they have are... No, wait, I want to buy chips. Oh, wait, yes, Cheetos. Cheetos. I can't sorry, even... Right, sorry, go ahead. Roll for it. I can't okay. even chips. So, dining bowl okay, on two just, of them that weren't hit by Bane. Okay. Uh, do I have dis- I don't think I have disadvantage. Because it's not... It's only weapon attacks. Weapon attacks. So, attack, okay. Yeah. So, separate attack for each of them. Uh, 16 and uh, 8. 16 hits, 8 misses. Yeah. Which was not nearly as good as 11. 11 points, dead. Woo. Yay, he's dead. I heard mm. dead, so yay. Josh, your turn. Long go to the forehead. Fail. Okay, so sacred flaming. So I am going to shoot a yeah, exactly. yeah, close to the air. At that point, you're just like you know. They're what? about twenty feet away. Okay, I'm gonna shoot him with a bow, and eight I miss. All right. So that's great. Axe beard. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna attack. Rec- uh, what can I do? 
Yeah, it can be recklessly on whichever right in front of me. Okay. What's the right hand? Pull the dead. 60. 60. Uh, 19 to okay, hit. So hit. Uh, will. Uh, so will save. 11 damage. Dead. If I should drop sacred there are four that. left. Two of them are at minus four on saving throws. Let's go. I didn't think that. Uh, I their attack. I could now. They yeah, swim right. up to you. Yeah, originally, I just, like, uh, there are four of them. The game when we didn't we'll just those. go one, just two, oh, really? three, four. Wait, no, you guys are in the front. You're in the front. Which one? You're closer to the front? Sure. So you guys get attacked. So Veggie Pigmas are using claws. Josh, this is a... 23 to hit you, take 4 points of damage. No, 5. 5 points of damage. Attack on you is a 9, that's a miss. Attack on you is a natural 20. That's a hit. Take 10 points of damage. And attack on Cody is a 1, that's a miss. Wait, I take 4 points of damage? 5. Oh, 5. Veggie Pigments are done. Hero, you're up. 21. They are now adjacent to you. My juice is dead. What? My battery power. Alright, so you're going to take complete defense mode? Um, no, my guy will... My, that means my guy, by the time all this has come to pass, my guy's just going to get, like, an explosion of actions. Okay, gotcha. Uh, we will hold... You're going to hold your action until your device comes back online. I can give you a dagger Alexander, you're up. There are four of them left. Two of them have disadvantage. Okay. Um, I will uh, toll the dead on one of the injured ones from his, uh, his guiding bolt. Natural 20. Oof. Damn. The guiding bolt killed one. Yeah, guiding one. bolt killed the oh. one and missed the other. Oh, okay. Whichever one was damaged then, yeah. The, 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 the two have... Bane. Bane, and then the other two have nothing. Okay, so I'd go with the one that had Bane on it, because he'd get a minus uh, D4. Okay, so that's... Is minus a D4 is minus two, so I got an 18. Yeah, still, <laughs> still, still good. Okay, uh, anything not, else? Uh, nah, that'll be my action. I'm fine where I am. Primus. Uh, sacred Flame on one of the ones with the Bane. He got a 14. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Josh. In theory, this should work. <laughs> Eventually. The math is good. The math, Again, yeah. the scientists are happy with this yes. one. <laughs> Engineering is, is having problems. It, it has a P of Got left him. center equal to 5. It is statistically significant. 18 on the bow that has the weaker thing, whatever, minus... No, no, you don't want to hit those. those. Leave, those. Oh, okay. Leave those for us with the I won't. Metrics. I won't. Okay, I'll just to? shoot him and uh, no damage. Because you, I mean, oh, you only have okay, 2. Okay. And I'm level 1, yeah, so yeah. I'm out of, I'm out of first level spell. Still alive. Yeah. So we basically uh, uh, Axebeard. Next yeah, good stuff. Okay, he's taking damage. Recklessly. Uh, 12, 17. Hits. Uh, nine, I thought you meant, dead. I thought nice. you were like attacking me. I'm like, what? <laughs> Veggie Pigmas, there are three of them left. One, two, three. Or, no, no, no. One, two, three. One on you. Uh, seven. One on you. 22. Any one on you, 24. Take five points of damage. I am unconscious. Yes. <laughs> I mean, how much do I take? Five. And everybody's out of healing, hey, so... I'm, I'm unconscious. <laughs> it's a grave domain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he's out of spells. Yeah, let's see how this thing works. I can spend the dying. So, uh, so Hero, you're dragging, up. You're Cody, you're still delaying your We're action. Gonna, you're Alexander, your turn. Just body in the shell now. It's fine. Because we can't heal. Alright, my turn. Yes. Alright, uh, I can cast spare the dying at range, so I'll, I'll spare the dying on him. Okay. So he stabilizes, and then uh, I'll toll the dead on. Is there anyone with Bane left, or are they? There all are dead? two left with Bane. I, I'll do it on one of the ones with Bane. That's my preferably. He got a zero on his save. Critical. <laughs> 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 uh, that's six damage. Six necrotic. damage is still alive. Uh, Primus? Uh, Sacred Flame on the injured one. The injured one with Bane. Mm -hmm. uh, he got a 15. <laughs> <laughs> right. Even with uh, the D4. Uh, Josh. <laughs> oh, again. Okay. Fail. Fail. Nine. I'd love to just do Firebolt. Axe Beard. Death Sacred, you're, you're, right. you're saved the dying. You're okay. He, yeah, yeah, he spared me. Veggie Pygmies, there are three of them still alive. You guys didn't kill one that round. So attack on you. Uh, 20 versus armor class. For me. five points of damage. Yeah. Patch on Cody, take another five points of damage. And then the last one will attack Josh, take five points of damage. Oh, no. Boom! That's three hits. <laughs> Veggie Pygmies getting it done. Uh, end of so round, you're hero. A snail. Hero, you're, you're still up. thinking, Alexander, you're up. Alexander? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, he stabilized. I'll just, uh, toll the dead again. So five the, uh, points of damage? The, the damage Bane one. Negative one. Five, <laughs> five points of damage? Uh, another six points Rest. of, uh, necrotic dead. damage. Woo! There are two left. Nailed it. Uh, that'll be my turn. I'm still alive. I've been... Take your flame on the other one. Eight. All right. Mm -hmm. 
One day, maybe. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Take your wins where you can get them. Uh, Josh. You know what? I injured it for you, so now you can do the D12. Exactly. That's what I'm here for. Am I taking more damage? or? Oh, no. You're attacking. Up. Okay, so I got a 20. And I got I'm gonna six explode. points of damage. Six points of damage? Yeah. To the undamaged one or to the one they're hitting? That you're doing the undamaged one. Undamaged. Alright, I'll take six. One alone. <laughs> uh, you made a death save or you're stable? Stay stable. I have two left, so one on you and one on you. Miss and miss. And back to the top of the order. Hero, you're up. You're delaying Alexander. Uh, okay. Roll the dead on the one that got injured you're for one damage with the bane on it. Five shots. 18 saving throw. Ah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll save. And then <laughs> Primus. Go ahead. Four on the saving throw. Oh, yeah. Seven. Seven. Seven points of damage. It yeah. dies. One All left. Right. It's taken damage. All right. Uh, Josh, your turn. You could kill it. Nope, I won't. <laughs> oh, Josh. Axebeard's unconscious. <laughs> You're charged. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get on, but it's gonna take like. All right, roll a d20. Tell us begin. what you get. Yeah, I mean, if you remember your weapon stats, you can get to use those because you don't really oh, need yes. your abilities right now. I will roll for my first five 17. shots. Seventeen Hit. plus five, twenty-two. <laughs> Damage. It'll I'll take, take the trash. Okay. Thank you, Josh. Seven points on the first shot. Oh, wait, dead. Yeah, seven yes. points will do it. All right. And that As you slaughter the last of the veggie pygmies. Pygmies? The, uh... Um, I gotta go, guys. The Eye of Abolith speaks to you again. Wait. In your mind, you hear Dawn speaking speaking to you once more through the artifact sounds exultant this time. Once? Does that You're truly it? wondrous creatures, and if you promise me a favor, I shall get us all out of this enclosure to safety. Oh. At some point in the future, you may find yourself in the presence of a creature known as the Xanathar. I certainly don't mean today, perhaps not even this year, just sometime. All I ask is that you kill this creature. To ensure that we have a proper accord, however, I'm going to have to ask you to accept a powerful enchantment that will compel you to act according to this compact. What say you? Um, I'm saying... Yay! What do we get in return? Uh, exit from the fish tank. Fair enough. Fair enough. I made enough. dumber deals for dumber reasons. Yeah, sure. As Done. long as it doesn't compel me to do this like straight away, the only thing I can do. Right. No. Yeah. Okay. Right. Sure. Wait, we can't fight Xanathar. Sure. All right. So, big white flash of light. You are standing in an alley in Waterdeep. Okay. It feels like the same day, perhaps the same alley. Okay. You have a giant snail shell full of stink. <laughs> <laughs> no, the I mean, really stink, right? Well, you know, gotta bury those bodies, man. Um, and him. Gotta do the he's, Lord's he's work. He's been tossed in the. And in the adventure show over. Cool. Call All right, there. So, mm -hmm. what happens? Um, XP, gold, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know we get 50 gold, uh, 10 gold total each, so. Great, we killed so much stuff. Oh, wait, no, the, the, the shell. shell. Yeah, how much is the shell worth? Okay, the can... shell is worth 1,000 plus a D6,000, depending on how much you can sell it for. Okay. I have to roll that D6, I guess. I'll roll it. I'm lucky. I got a 6. I'm feeling pretty lucky. Yeah, so 7,000 gold, you're able to sell it to some oh dwarven smiths. Okay. So, uh, is this 7,000 between I the 6 of us? Four, 5 of us. Divided by 5. That's uh, 1,400. 1,400? Rick! 1410! Okay. No, 1410. 1410. Okay. You guys killed two sea spawn, right? Uh, yeah. Two, three, and two you guys spawn. didn't fight the giant clams, and you did not try to fight uh, Silvar oh, the thing. The you did fish? not get the Earthset's eye. You did not get the Pot of Awakening. You did not get the Wand of Smiles. We did not what? get any of that. Oh, there was a Wand of Smiles. <laughs> there was a Wand of Damn Smiles. Where was that? The, the, the clamshells. Uh, oh, no, uh, I, think, I think the clamshells. Uh, oh, you know, time to time restrictions. You gotta well, do. You gotta do. Uh, identification well, code. Rich. Uh, uh, what's the, the name of the adventure be, for? Be rich. Down and then here's the hey, beacon if you guys want to take that. Okay. Don't be rich. And then here's the. Uh, so are we playing next week? You guys can split that. Uh, what's that one for? One oh, one introduction one. adventure. That's just in case you oh, want to keep that for your character. It's a metal. Look, see what's going A. Alright, um, Feels like a you guys just let me know what the XP is divided by six. Yeah, like I can yeah. uh, uh, five. Five, five. Five, I'm sorry. Uh, 300 XP. 
Oh, each. awesome. I'm going to level two. Each. And that is the Underworld Speculation Adventure. Thank you. Thank you guys for showing yeah, up, man. It's fun. Again. Yes. We have a great crew here at the Alakazam, and in less than a year, we've become quite a yeah. formidable body of Dungeons & Dragons player. I'm pretty happy. Cool. Uh, Healthy tables. In fact, all the tables are too big now, right? I mean, we yeah. have more yeah, people than we have. Yeah. Well, I can't make any more tables, so it's a double bummer. <laughs> double bummer plus? Thank uh, you for coming. Have a yeah, good night. Sorry, uh, sorry, yeah, no problem, dude. I'll see you on Wednesday. I'll see you guys. You'll be here on Wednesday? I don't know if I'm coming on Wednesday. I don't know. I'm assuming that would be 5 death 10. Uh, yeah. No, I just <laughs> turned off the thing on purposely, accidentally. What's on your purpose? DCI number? We accidentally.